Tonight, it's the National Football League. It's Super Bowl Sunday. As we'll see Dak Prescott and the Dallas Cowboys taking on Lamar Jackson and the Houston Texans. It's the National Football League presented by EA Sports. Tonight, it's all on the line. We play for the Lombardi Trophy as it'll be the AFC champion Houston Texans taking on the NFC champions, the Dallas Cowboys. This Super Bowl is underway. Taking it about the one. And he'll take it up past the 25 to the 26-yard line. Now we'll see what the right arm of Dak Prescott has in store as the Dallas Cowboys offense sets up shop. One thing he does very well, he takes care of the football. Had 176 pass attempts to start his career without an interception. That's the most in NFL history. And finished his rookie year, 23 touchdown passes and only four interceptions. First down. It's Carr. The game's first play produces six yards. Brings up second down. At the 32-yard line. A six-yard pickup brings up second and four. From the shotgun, it's Prescott. And that is incomplete. A lot of force bearing down on him there. He could not hang on. It's third down. It's another zone defense. It looks like it's open for possibilities, but they did a nice job patrolling the middle of the field and forcing an incompletion. And they'll look to avoid an early three and out here on third and four. Prescott from the gun. And this time he's got the hookup. It's complete. Yeah. Five yards on the play there as the drive will continue. First and 10 at the 37-yard line. And he's dropped right at the 40. Gain of three. Give credit to the defense for stringing that play out. And they gave up no cutback angle. You know he was trying to dart through. No place for him to go. A nice job there, only giving up a three-yard gain. Now the throw here complete on the right sideline. And he'll be taken down, but not before he works it past the 50. First and 10 at the 46-yard line. Now a play fake here on first down. He's going to flip one out here to his running back. And he's got this down to the 35. 11 more, 11 more yards that go around. A first down as well. First down. First and 10 at the 35-yard line. Out of the gun. Here's Prescott. He'll find Lamb. That's complete. And this will be a gain of five as he gets it to the 30. 
five yards on the catch there. Brings up second down. Second and five. At the to the air again, Prescott. And he takes a shot on the release as this will be incomplete. Eighth play of this opening drive coming up. This is third down. Brings up third and five. Prescott yet again. Open man is Henderson. That's complete. And he will have a Cowboys first down. They needed five there on third down. He winds up getting seven. Nice job keeping that opening drive alive. And they're in plus territory, that part of the field where you really want to convert on third down. They did. Big time pickup for them. And now I think the aggressive play callers think to themselves, this part of the field, I take my shot at the end zone. Because the closer you get to the end zone, the field can, gets condensed. Makes it a lot tougher to run those routes. You still got a chance to actually run past people right now. Take your shot at the end zone early in the down and distance count. He is taken down at the 21 after a short gain of two. Two yards on the pickup there. It'll be second and eight. A gain of two. Brings up second and eight. Prescott. Able to hit his target, Lamb. And he'll take it down here just shy of the 15 at the 16-yard line. How about this opening drive? Play number 12 now. This is third down. Prescott to throw it. And he's got his man in stride. Complete. And he will have a Cowboys first down, I do believe. Yes, he's got it by about a yard there on third and three. His first catch of this Super Bowl, and it'll be good for a first down. That throw's not going to get him a whole lot, but that really didn't matter, did it? They got what they needed on that throw. Picked up the first down, and I'm going cliche here. Game of inches, partner. Absolutely. Well, and you talk to me a lot about opening drives, how key those are to set the tone. You kept the drive a lot. Third down conversion here is big. They'll run on first down. Carr. And he is into the end zone for a Cowboy touchdown. With the first touchdown of this Super Bowl. And the Cowboys take it all the way down the field and score on the opening drive. One of the keys to their long winning streak has been scoring first. An ideal drive right there, getting the first six points of the ball game. Do you go back to our meeting with the offensive coordinator? Oh, yeah. What he told us? Absolutely. With some teams, I script to probe in the early part of the game. Other teams, I script to attack. They've been in attack mode for these ball games and continue that in this one. And this is up and good to make it 7-0 Cowboys. So that one, a 13-play drive in total. And it was capped off by a 12-yard touchdown run. The kickoff unit is out on the field, and they will send this one away. And out a little across the 25 to the 27. So out come the Texans for their opening drive. They'll be led out by the final pick of the first round in 2018 out of Louisville. It's Lamar Jackson. And what a sophomore season he had for the Cardinals. Pretty much swept every major quarterback award, including the Heisman Trophy. And we spent a lot of time talking about his legs. Formidable. He can run the ball like few others. But the key to everything for him, his ability to be accurate from the pocket. Going right side here, and that's complete. And he gets this one just shy of the 40, down at the 39. Right off the bat, it's a first down to start the drive, 12 yards. This Super Bowl, of course, just a huge one for this head coach. The first time he's walked the sidelines in a game of this magnitude. And you know, I might normally ask the cliche what's going through his mind right now. But maybe the better question, CD, what do you think are the pitfalls of being a first-time head coach in this game? Well, you know it's something that he thought about, Brandon, and he had to. And he was thinking about it long before he got to this stage. As the season progressed and he saw that his team was good, if he was smart, he started to make plans right then and there. Reach out to other coaches who've been there before. Find out how they handled winning, losing, handling all the ticket situations, travel, practice, all those things. And then trust your gut, make your best decision, and put it all out there and give your team their best chance to win. Now Jackson on first down. And that is incomplete. So line of scrimmage, still the 39 on second and 10. Brings up second and 10. To throw again, Jackson. 
Now they set up the screen. That's complete. And he's taken down inside the 30. 12 yards there and a first down. I like the screen being called here early in the game, especially on the opening drive, because, Brandon, when guys come out of the locker room, especially as pass rushers, they are so amped up to get to the quarterback that you can use that against them, and a screen pass is a great way of doing it. A lot of teams against good pass rushing teams, they want to run the screen 10 to 12 times in a game. And they are able to stop him, but he does take it all the way to the two. 25 yards that time. Well, he did everything but get him in the end zone there, but now they're set up. Golden opportunity, strong opening drive, and they're knocking on the door. And the way that they did it, now look where they are on the field, all right? This is naturally set up for a running play, isn't it? But with his ability to throw the football, his accuracy on this drive, you might want to think about a pass play in this situation. Ooh, interesting. Time to find out. To throw again is Jackson, and this one's incomplete. Second and goal, and they will try again from the two-yard line. Leads to second and goal. They'll try to run this one in. And he pushes forward, but comes up short of the goal line as he'll get a yard down to about the one. Stop short of the goal line. A gain of one yard on the play. It's now third on third down. McLean. And this time he is in. Yes. Taking it in from a yard out. And the Texans are an extra point away from tying this football game. Able to punch it in on third down makes it easier for those guys on the sideline. They didn't have a fourth down decision to make. Yeah, could you feel the exhale? Because they were already thinking ahead as all the good coaching staffs do. Anticipating what we have to make the call. They already had it lined up. Never even got to it. The call is to go for one and kick the extra point. It's up and good. So these teams match touchdowns here in the first quarter, and we're tied 7-7. Seven, seven. Each team's had it. Each team has scored 7-7 seven, seven here as the kick's away. That'll be taken about a yard deep. And he takes this near the 25, just a little pass there, call it the 26. Their own 26-yard line. Second drive forthcoming here for the Dallas Cowboys. Good drive last time, really effective passing the football. Do you maybe mix it up, now go to the ground game and surprise the defense a little bit? I would anticipate the defense making some changes but I wouldn't necessarily just absolutely go in the opposite direction. They're doing so well throwing the ball. Yeah, why? Well, I wouldn't change it up until they showed me a reason to do so. And he's going to be out of bounds right at midfield. Well, that a very strong gain of 24. I know this may be jumping the gun a little bit, but 7-7, seven to seven, they're flinging it around like crazy. Look at the drive that's going on here. Partner, we may have to start thinking about one of these defenses just holding someone to a field goal and maybe trying to get advantage that way. Prescott now from the 50. And that's off the mark, incomplete. So now second and 10 after the incompletion on first down. Incomplete. It leads to second and 10. Here's Prescott. And they will not get the connection there. It's incomplete. So now third and ten. They had the big play to start the drive, but two incompletions since. When I watched that play, I thought about what my coaches had told me in the past. The biggest teaching point, get your head around. Locate the football so you can make a play on it while it's in the air. That's exactly what he did there. That was nice. And that one incomplete. Had some position but couldn't hold on, and it brings up fourth down. And now where will the side judge stop his walk? That's the question. He says it crossed out of bounds at about the 17-yard line. So now we get set to see Houston for their second drive of the ball game. The last possession, these guys were able to tie the game with a touchdown, and now they'll have a chance to move out in front. Yeah, let's give a big assist to the defense who got the ball back. The special teams went out there, handled things. They've got it. They've got momentum. I know they're eager to get out there and put it on display. 
The pass there over the middle to start things out. Seven yards to pick up there. Able to get seven on that first down pass play. Second and three. Brings up second and three. From the shotgun now, here's an inside give. And he'll get this up to the 34-yard line. It's a first down on a gain of 10. That was good, tough running right up the middle. And if the defense can't penetrate and make him slow his pace or change direction, that's often the end result. From the 34 now, here's first and 10. Now a handoff here to his running back. And able to use his blockers to get this up over the 40. A solid run on first down. Gain of seven leaves him with a second and three. Brings up second and three. Now a give right side. McLean. And bulldozing through multiple tackles. Now he's going to get this all the way down inside the 35. A first down there and a pickup of 25. Well, they came into this game saying it was important that they set the tone and show that they can run the football. I believe that they've done that here in the first quarter. So from Cowboy territory now, here's first and 10 at the 34. And now Jackson will look to throw it. Got his man complete over the middle. That's Porter. And all the way inside the 15 before they drop it. That's now a pair of explosive plays in succession, both north of 20 yards. But one of the ways the quarterbacks keep all the receivers alive in a play, never lock in on any one guy. Make sure you keep your eyes moving, scan the field. And here he finds the open guy for a nice pickup. From the 13 now, they work on first and 10. These two teams all tied after one. The score tied seven to seven. From the 13 now, they work on first and 10. Now a give right side, McLean. And he's in, touchdown, Houston. A great effort there. His second touchdown of the Super Bowl. And the Texans have taken the lead. And always a good first half when you can hit pay dirt twice. And it never hurts to have that good feeling as the game moves on. Just think about halftime. If, if that's is all he gets, he'll just sit there at the half and think, all right, two already. I can get some more. I can get some more. And he'll be encouraging his offensive line to create some space. And he's got it. It's now a 14-7 ball game. So the drive there took six plays. And it's capped off by a 13-yard touchdown run. Seven. The kickoff team on the field now as they will send this one away. From the six. And a nice return sets him up pretty good here right at the 30-yard line. Take over first and 10 at their own 30-yard line. Now the Cowboys offense heads back onto the field. That 7-0 lead of theirs short-lived as they've now given up two straight touchdowns to fall behind by seven. Yeah, but no cause for discouragement here. Yeah, they've fallen behind, but haven't they proven that they can go down and score? So what was the formula that got them down there the first time? Get back to something close to that, and maybe they can get this game tied up. And a penalty flag down as he gets only about a yard. And let's listen in on the call. can see this quite a bit on running plays where the guy's out wide. A lot of times, though, it doesn't get caught. You're exactly right, because it's away from the play usually, so a lot of it goes undetected. But I know this will surprise you. I coached some receivers in the offseason. We worked a lot on hand placement and blocking downfield. I want to take that course. Brings up second down. 
on second and 15 now. Prescott, and he's got his man out of the backfield. That's complete. And from the 25, they work this to the 29, a gain of four. A gain of four brings up third and 11. On third down, it's Prescott. Over the middle, complete. It's Klein. And he will have a Cowboys first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. That's a fun one to watch right there. A nice in-breaking route and plenty of room in the middle of the field. And he was able to get behind the linebackers and grab the completion for a really good pickup. down. It's Carr. And he goes across midfield and down into Houston territory. The ball carries it's a seven-yard carry to set them up with a second and three. That play wasn't quite as big as the play that preceded it, but still, got to like the way they're moving the football part. Absolutely. Pretty good room to run on that last play. Yeah, they didn't get a first down, but still, you'll take runs like that each and every time, won't you? Now a throw here to his running back. And the stop here will come at the 38-yard line. Seven yards there and a first down. Another catch for him there on this drive, Brandon. And it looks like they're going to utilize him out of the backfield any way they can. And that time, they pick up a first down. So now on defense, you assign a man to him and try and cover him before he gets going. So here's a first and 10 at the 38. Looking to throw. Prescott. And he's going to find his man out of the backfield. That's complete. That catch good for only a couple. All defense is worried that whenever anyone catches the ball and has a head of steam come out of the backfield, it can turn into a big play with missed tackles or he runs through people. But they were right there waiting, and they stopped him for a minimal gain. Line of scrimmage, the 36 on second and eight. And he'll give it here to his running back. And brought down, but not before they're inside the 25. Give them 14 on that one, and a first down. But they're getting ready to go to work now in prime real estate after that last run. Found his spot and picked up nice yardage, didn't he? And now he's got him knocking on the door of the red zone. game working they'll stick with it on first down and they'll get him down right about the 20. give him a couple on the carry there second and eight a gain of two brings up second and eight and to give this time to the tailback four yards on the pickup there as it'll leave him with a third and about four more for a first a gain of four brings up third and prescott and this is caught for a Cowboy touchdown. A 16-yard touchdown. And the Cowboys are an extra point away from tying the football game. And that was a beautiful ball right there as he waited for his tight end to come uncovered in the end zone to give him points for patience as well. Delivered it right where it needed to be for six points. Point attempt to follow here. And we've got a good one brewing. We're all knotted up at 14. So that drive goes a full 80 yards in 10 plays. And it culminates in a Dallas touchdown. One tied at 14 now as he sends this one away. This will be fielded inside the five. And they'll start this drive just across the 30. Pretty nice work on the return. At their own 31 yard line. The 
Texans offense ready to go here for their next drive. And now last drive so successful with the ground game, ending in a touchdown. Do you stick with that formula? That would be the number one thing you would think of, but so many guys now would look at it and say, we've got them set up so well for play action, now's the time to take a shot. Yeah. But you know, there was a big time coach in the state of Ohio who once said, if you throw the ball, if you put it in the air, three things can happen, and two of them are bad. <laughs> he would have kissed it on the ground. <laughs> First and 10, it's Jackson. He's going to hit his man out of the backfield, complete. And he's tackled a yard short of the marker. Good gain of nine on first down. Give him nine on the play, and it'll be second and about a yard. Just about every quarterback is trained to really look downfield first before you come back and make a nice, safe throw. And in this case, that's exactly what he did. Found his running back, let him create some space, and it turned out to be a nice play for the offense. First down. Offensively, they liked their situation, so they tried to take a shot downfield, but no one was open. So it was tuck it in run time, and he picks up a first down. From the 34 now, here's first and 10. Here's Jackson. Dancing to his left. The improv on the scramble there gets him six, and it'll be second down. Six brings up second and four at the Cowboys' 27-yard line. From the gun, Jackson firing quickly here, and that's complete. And he's able to get it to the edge of the red zone at the 20-yard line. His first catch of this Super Bowl, and it'll be good for a first down. From the red zone now, they'll look to throw. Got his man complete over the middle. That's Porter. Give him nine there on the first down completion. You know, Lamar Jackson last season, the first NFL quarterback with 3,000 or more passing yards and 1,000 or more rushing yards in the same season. And we've seen both of those talents on display here today. We just saw another completed pass. And everyone knew coming out of college he could run the ball. But for some reason, we didn't analyze it throwing the way we should have. I think every time he completes a pass, he says to him, and he'll take this one in for a Texans touchdown. A great play there with his third touchdown of the Super Bowl. And the Texans have broken the tie. So simple math here in the first half. They've had three drives offensively, and they have scored every time, and they've got the lead. Well, whenever we talk about adjustments, we usually talk about an offense making adjustments, right? This is all about the defense. They've got to figure out some way, somehow, to slow them down. Do they blitz a little bit more? Do they play more zone coverage? Right now, they don't know where to go because they're hitting them in every direction. It's up and good, and that'll make the score 21-14. So that drive takes him down the field in eight plays, and it's culminated by a two-yard touchdown run. Set now to kick this one away, and off it goes. This one fielded at the five. And all in all, a pretty solid return. Nearly got it to the 35. They'll mark him down officially at the 34. They're on the 34-yard line. A look at the running back, the man out of the backfield as he gears up to go again. He's been good. They've utilized him well, but they're losing here in the second quarter. What might they change offensively? I think that what you try and do is expand how you get the ball to him a little bit. Get him out in open space, maybe swing the ball to him. What's that they used to call in the West Coast offense, the long handoff? Yeah. Serve as your running play that way, as well as continue to feed him the football. Some of these runs now may pop bigger later in the game because of the effects of running it. Sometimes people, after a while, they don't want to tackle him anymore, or they get tired, or they get out of position, or he runs through tackles. Continue to feed him the ball. He's having that kind of game. Yeah, might they get him the ball in some space in some different ways here. Brings up a third down and 10 yards to go. Prescott from the gun on third. He'll find Henderson there. It's complete. 
And he will have a Cowboys first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. His second catch in the Super Bowl, and it's good enough for a first down. That's a play that will likely be forgotten when you talk about big moments in this game. But plays like this are critical to keep drives going. And if points result, we'll call this play significant. They'll run on first down. Carr. And he goes across midfield and down into Houston territory. It's a pickup before, and it'll bring up second down. Four yards on the pickup. Second and six. From the shotgun now, here's an inside give. And he'll take this forward for about five as we have come upon the two-minute warning. It's a five-yard game, but they'll still be a yard short here with third down now looming. Coming up in a couple of minutes, we'll get you to Jonathan Coachman in Orlando. The coach will have stats and scores from earlier today in the NFL. And a quick throw here. That's complete. And he will have a Cowboys first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. A little surprise pays off on third and one. Pass instead of run. Gets him 15 yards. Scott looks to throw on first. And this one quickly to Lamb. And down inside the 15, shy of the 10. A good gain again. That's now 31 yards combined on those last two plays. Good strong throw and catch right there. And so far in this game, the alleys have been open for them to get completions, and they're taking advantage of it. From down at the 12, it's first and 10. Here's Prescott. That's going to be caught at the 10-yard line. And he'll get it here to the 10-yard line. That catch good for only a couple. I think it's okay there. They didn't get a whole lot on that play, but it's nice to have a safety valve that's built like this guy. Big target, guy you can spot pretty easily. Put it on him when your other targets aren't open. Now the Cowboys are going to burn the first of their timeouts as they'll stop it with just over a minute to go before halftime. Throwing again on second down. Prescott. Now another timeout called for by the offense as they get the stoppage with a little over 50 seconds to go in the first half. Ninth play coming up here on this drive. This is third and a yard. From the shotgun now, here's an inside give. Now the Texans will burn the first of their timeouts as they get the stoppage with a little over 50 seconds to go in the first half. up to be an 11 play drive. Well, partner, that's a lot of offense to run there to only get three points. So I just wonder, are they going to recycle those plays because they were successful in getting three? Or do you go to another section of the playbook trying to find ones to get you to the end zone, get you six? At their own 32-yard line. There again is the running back as he trots onto the field. And it may just be the second quarter, but he's in his own well on his way to eclipsing that 100-yard mark. And when a back has a game, as we're witnessing right now, his name's going to be in the books, but it's really a collective deal, isn't it? Because that the means he's, he's getting plenty of blocking, a lot of help from his teammates, but he's making the most of it. Yeah, he's made the most of it to this point. Now the Texans will use one of their two remaining timeouts as they stop it here with just under 40 ticks to go in this first half. Jackson on first down. It's a short one here, complete to his tight end. Now after the completion, we're going to get a timeout, an injured player. While the training staff works on him, we'll step aside and be right back.
They still need about the length of the football here, maybe a little less as they come up on second and inches. Jackson from the shotgun, throwing for his running back, and he's got him complete. And he's going to have another first down here as the tackle's made at the Cowboys' 36. Texans passing game in rhythm right now, picking up another first. So from the 36 now, first and 10. Jackson will throw again. It's a short one here, complete to the tight end. And he'll work it inside the 30 to the 29-yard line. That's seven yards, the pickup on the pitch and catch. So it's halftime here on Sports Grandness Stage in the Super Bowl. As we send you a stone's throw away across I-4 to Orlando, there standing by is Jonathan Coachman, ready with our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach? It's been a tremendous season of football, but it's not over yet. One half remains to decide who will stand on the podium with the Vince Lombardi Trophy. And to call the second half, here are Brandon Godden and Charles Davis. All right, Coach, thank you, and we welcome everyone back for quarter number three. These two teams sat through a longer-than-usual 30-minute wait, but we're back in action here in this Super Bowl. And a good return as he'll be stopped just shy of the 30-yard line. At their own 29-yard line. And now out comes Houston. They have the lead now. They'll be looking for some separation here as we begin the third quarter. I like the way you term that because now I think they go a little bit deeper into their playbook. They like what they did in the first half. That worked okay. But in order to get the separation that you just talked about, change things up a little. And the Cowboys pressure gets there this time for the sack. Well, partner, we know they came out of the locker room down on the scoreboard. That will guarantee you the defensive side of the ball gets super emotional. They can come out and play with aggressiveness, with fury, because they don't have to be quite as precise, and it paid off for them on that play, didn't it? Sure did. Excellent play, really setting the tone for this third quarter. So after the sack here, second and 14. Off the play fake, here's Jackson. He's going to fire one deep over the middle. And that will be incomplete. Trying to dial up the long one way out there, but it'll be third down. It's now third down and 14. Here's Jackson on third and long. And the throw there going to be incomplete. Not only did he have a chance to scan the field there, it felt like he had a chance to scan it twice. The protection was that good. Unfortunately for him, the coverage downfield, equally good. That'll go as a punt of 32 yards. And the Cowboys will take over the football with a first and 10. The Cowboys offense now, they head out for their first possession of the second half. Their defense just came up with a stop right out of the locker room, and now can the offense take advantage? Yeah, we don't want to turn this into something that it's not. It's only a one-score game, so it's not exactly a crucial possession. But at the same time, they'd like to get things started and at least come away with three points. And he's going to get a solid gain of nine before being brought down. Second and right at a yard. Brings up second and one. Out of the gun. Here's Prescott. Throwing over the middle, and it's incomplete. And that one's going to be off target and incomplete. Brings up third down and one. That's the reason you go for circle round twice for the encore. You know, you know. They tried to throw on second down, unsuccessful. Now it's third and one. Now a handoff here to his running back. And he's got the first down yardage before he's brought down at the 42. I like his focus there because he wasn't thinking about breaking that one big. All he thought about was, I need one. Let's go get that. Ended up picking up two.
Right back to him on first down. Not much there. Maybe a couple as he's taken down at the 40. The last run good for two. Here's second and eight. A gain of two. Brings up second. From the shotgun, it's Prescott. He'll find Lamb. That's complete. And he's going to be taken down with another first down as the stop's made at the Texans' 23. Well, that certainly has to feel good. It's not all the time that the play caller should get all the credit. Sometimes I think in the huddle, the quarterback just says, hey, who's going to make a play for me? I just need something right here. And the end result there, nice first down. Drive keeps moving. here on the jet sweep and they'll get him down right about the 20 receiver give him three on first down it'll set up a second and seven brings up second and seven Prescott from the gun being chased out left and he'll go down here at the 12 yard line Eight yards that time, able to take off, and the result is a first down. Well, he did a nice job keeping his eyes downfield, waiting for someone to get open. But once the pressure forced his eyes down to see the rush, it was time to make a break for it. From down at the 12, it's first and 10. And he'll give it here to his running back. And able to break one tackle, but then quickly brought down. But a nice little game. That one good for 10 yards. And that'll make it second and a foot or so. On any explosive run, you can almost feel the ground shaking. And he'll take it into the end zone for a Cowboy touchdown. A great effort there. His second touchdown of the Super Bowl. And the Cowboys have retaken the lead. He's giving him a little jolt, just gave him the lead there, but two TDs now in the game. And that jolt puts them in the lead. What a terrific job by him. He is carrying the ball and simply saying, I want to win. And now he's hoping his defense has that mentality as they try to hang on to that lead. And that one gives him a three-point lead. A good drive that time as they go nine plays in all. And it's culminated by a two-yard touchdown run. Out is the kickoff unit as they run up and send this one away. Taken in at the three. And they'll get him down inside the 30 at the 27. take over first and 10 at their own 27-yard line. Out comes the Houston offense as they get set to take over here. And a tight game after punting last time. See if they can get something going on this drive. As they head to the field now, with the game this close, you've got to feel there's a sense of urgency for them going on offense right now. But they have to do it without letting panic creep in and affect their play. And the boy showing how tough he can be to bring down, just fighting his way forward to pick up seven yards. A seven-yard pickup brings up second and three. They'll keep it on the ground. McLean, and he'll lose yardage. Brought down at the 32. Brought down behind the line of scrimmage. I'll tell you what, this defense hasn't played its best, but they're still right in this football game. If they keep making plays just like that, they're going to give their offense a chance. Yeah, the Cowboys here on third down bringing in an extra defensive back. From the gun, it's Jackson. And he will find his man on the end route, complete. Give him 17 on the pick up there, and the Texans also get a new set of downs. A lot of times when you get a manageable third down situation like this, you have to think about your tight end, and he comes through for him, picking up the first down.
On first down, McLean. And he breaks through another tackle. Past the 20. And they're going to be set up down around the 15-yard line. 36 yards on the play. I think they like this drive a little bit better there, partner. Running game helping out, picking up some of the slack. Because remember the last drive, they went three and out. the big play look at this all the way down at the 15 now on first and 10 from the red zone now they'll look to throw this will be caught at about the six and he's in touchdown Houston a great play there with a record fourth Super Bowl touchdown tonight and the Texans have once again taken the lead CD, it seemed like they were so focused on the guys out wide, they forgot about him out of the backfield. That's a really good point because you've got to communicate, and oftentimes when you start counting receivers, that's exactly what you do. You start from the widest receiver, work your way inside. Who gets lost sometimes? The back in the backfield. That's exactly what happened there. And he got into the end zone. And he's able to put it through. The drive summary that time, five plays. And it results in the Texans finding the end zone. 24. The kickoff unit is out on the field, and they will send this one away. Fielded just outside the goal line. Oh, a dangerous return man showing it here. And all in all, a pretty solid return. Nearly got it to the 35. They'll mark him down officially at the 34. And now Dallas gets set to take the field. And they had the touchdown during the last drive, and I'm guessing that you like the balance they had on that last drive. And I loved it. Forget liking it. Absolutely love what they were doing because to be ahead of the defense that much where every play call you have, run or pass, is working pretty well for you. Makes you look like a genius. It really does. Also lets you know that your preparation was pretty good, and now the defense has to do all the adjusting. He'll get about four as he's past the 35 to the 38-yard line. Brandon, all things considered, they have to feel pretty good about getting that type of a gain considering the blitz that they just had against them. The run got four. Now they deal with a second and six. They'll keep it on the ground. Carr. And he's going to be stopped up quickly here. Just a yard up to the 39. That's a really good job right there. Just kept stringing that play out, pushing further and further towards the sideline. Really good fundamentals by that defense. He was trying to put his foot in the ground and turn up field. He just couldn't. No, they really had a picket fence in front of him. No room to find to get upfield. Prescott now. He's got a first down and then some at midfield. And all the way down to the 41 yard line. His fifth catch tonight, and it's good for a first down. And that's well executed there on third down. And I love the confidence that they had to let their tight end try and find some space in the middle of the field right in their quarterback's line of vision. And QBs love to make that easy throw, and they hooked up there for a first down. You can just kind of sense the momentum turning here. It's first and ten. Prescott. That's taken in by Henderson. Prescott, a gain of six there on first. Number 85. Nothing fancy on first down, but a very consistent type of a play. Hit that slant. A lot of people call it an extension of the running game, and it can be if that pass is completed, because you hit a guy on the run like that, he often can go for big yardage. Sets him up nicely for second down, staying ahead of schedule. From the shotgun now, here's an inside give. And he's going to be close to a first down as the tackle is made at the Texans' 28. It's a seven-yard gain there, and it's good enough to move the chains. yard line. A first down throw for Prescott. Forced out to his left. And this will leave him a yard short. Nice pickup of nine yards on first down. Taken down at the 19-yard line. It's a gain of nine. 
Brings up second and a yard. Looking to throw again on second down. Prescott, quick hitter here, it's complete. And the Cowboys are going to be set up with a first and goal here as the tackle made at the nine. First and goal at the nine-yard line. Here's Prescott. And that is caught. Touchdown, Cowboys. A nine-yard touchdown grab as his guys are able to regain the lead. He got it figured out by the goal line. This is where a tight end earns his money in the high traffic area. And he's able to work free in the middle of the end zone and grabs that one for a touchdown. Now the try here for the point after. And that one gives them a three-point lead. So that drive goes eight plays, and it's capped off for the Cowboys touchdown. The kickoff team on the field now as they will send this one away. That'll be taken about a yard deep. And they'll get him down right around the 25, actually the 26 officially, so a net gain of one there. Getting set to go again as we look at the back, heading onto the field again. He has been a touchdown machine. It has been enjoyable to watch. And the scoreboard continues to light up as a result of his efforts. He's been a blast, though. Every time you look up, you just figure, if he's got the ball in his hands, he's going to end up in the end zone. It's been that kind of a game for him. Absolutely. Now you just keep waiting for more. And they work this well upfield across the 45. The end result, 21 yards. Certainly no settling into the drive there. They came right out on the first plan, attacked the middle of the field for a big gainer and a first down. Big hitter to start the drive, has him up near midfield here for first and 10. Operating from the gun, Jackson. And this is incomplete. A lot of times it's that first read that you have. Maybe you get it in pre-snap and he locked in on his target, but he was covered quite well, and that one's incomplete. third quarter of the biggest spectacle in sport, the Super Bowl. Thanks for joining us, everybody. Second and ten. Jackson hit, and he lost the football. It's picked up by the Cowboys. 20, 10, and this is going to be brought back for a fumble return touchdown by the Cowboys. And what we just saw, very, very rare. We only had five of those in the first 50 Super Bowls. The biggest stage, the biggest game, and we just saw it happen again. Extraordinary. The defense has been good, and they were good again there. Now the extra point try forthcoming. And he's been a busy man, five for five now, as he knocks another one through to extend the lead. So not only the cough up, but then the pick up on the other side, the scoop, and the score the other way, the fumble return for a touchdown. And you can bet they're preaching two hands on the ball here as the kicks away following that fumble return. Fielded just outside the goal line. And a decent return out to the 27-yard line. The Texans take over. The Texans offense ready to go here for their next drive. Throwing now, Jackson on first down. It's a short one here, complete to his tight end. They'll contain him to just four. Second down. To number 46. One quarter remains here in the Super Bowl. We'll return with more after this. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. 28. Second and six. From the gun, Jackson. And he rifles 
Stifles one incomplete. The Texans on third down. They've been okay, two for three thus far. This will be third and six. Escaping the pressure right. He opted to go with a scramble, gets two yards, and now it's fourth. Now how about that play? He took a possible negative and turned it into positive yardage and slid down to avoid taking a big shot. Excellent job getting down and avoiding the big hit. Shedding the tackle. And that'll be a return of 12 following a very nice punt. And that will come the offense as they take over. And now here come the Cowboys. And they have been the better of the two sides to this point with a two-score lead, fourth quarter of this Super Bowl, and the Lombardi Trophy within reach as they start this drive first and 10. Now Prescott. Over the middle, he finds Henderson complete. And he slips up past the 45 before being tackled. First down yardage on the first play of the drive, 14 yards. Now Prescott. Over the middle, complete. That's Clark. And he goes down, but not before getting this inside the 25. 28 yards the game there on the catch and run. The passing game continues to be their friend, even with a stable lead here in the fourth, Charles. They're going back to that well. Yeah, with their overall philosophy, you know that they trust their quarterback. He's been able to throw it well. They continue to throw these safe passes. Who can blame them? So a first and 10 now in Houston territory at the 24. Looking to throw, Prescott able to hit his target, Lamb. And able to get this down inside the 15, either the 13 or 14 before he's out of bounds. Now after the completion, we're gonna get a timeout, an injured player. While the trainers take a look, we'll step aside. Here's a first and 10 at the 14 yard line. From the shotgun now, here's an inside give. And effective running here, he'll take it down inside the 10. It's a six yard gain on the ground and that'll make it second and four. Brings up second and four. And to give this time to the tailback. They'll get this halfway home from the eight to the four on a gain of four. He was brought down at the four yard line. That's a gain of four. Brings up third. On third and one, here's Prescott. He may try. And he is into the end zone for a Cowboy touchdown. Taking it in from four yards out. And the Cowboys will add on to their lead. I'd have to say that for him, that was an all-encompassing drive because it was his arm that got his team down to that point, but his legs that finished the deal. Give him credit for making it happen. the kicking team here for the extra point. And that'll make this a three-score game as the lead moves to 17. That time, a six-play drive. And it results in a four-yard touchdown run. Kick this one away, and off it goes. Takes it at the 7. And up to about the 26-yard line, just across the 25. At their own 26-yard line. Houston set to take over. And it's becoming more and more apparent that this is just not going to be their night. That Lombardi trophy so close, but the expectations simply have not matched the results as they start on this drive first and 10. On 
first and ten, it's Jackson. And he will find his man on the outside. And he's taken down, but able to slip across the 35. Nice way to start the drive, a gain of 12 and a first down. You cannot write these guys off just yet, not with a quarterback like that under center. You mean it actually crossed your mind with him running the team that you could actually maybe write this game off? Not yet. Not a chance, not with him. We've seen it too many times. A fresh set of downs on a gain of 13 there for the Texans. Throwing on first down, it's Jackson. And nowhere to fit that football in. It's knocked away and incomplete. Incomplete. Brings up second and 10. Again on second and 10, it's Jackson. Got a man on the right sideline. It's Freeman. And down to the 20, he'll go before heading out of bounds. A gain of 28 yards there and give him a first down. I like to put my defensive cap on right now, and I know they're saying don't give up any big plays now. They've controlled this game throughout, and all they want to do is see it through to the end. I think they let their guard down a little bit with that last completion. Sometimes when you're trying not to give up bigger plays, you don't react as fast as you should on other throws. From the red zone now, here's Jackson on first down. Got his man complete over the middle. That's Freeman. To number eight. Seven yards, the pick up there. Seven. Brings up second and three at the 14-yard line. To throw again on second down. Jackson, that's complete right around the eight. And the Texans are going to have a first and goal coming up as the tackle made at the three-yard line. And with that last play, he's now up over that 300-yard mark. And in today's NFL, it almost feels routine. And I hate that when you talk about a 300-yard passing game. To me, 300 yards still signifies excellence, and he's achieved that in this performance. They'll try and run for it on first and goal. And he's going to get this back to the three-yard line and no further. They'll say no gain on the play, and it'll be second and goal. They'll go again from the three here on second and goal. Three-yard line. They'll keep it on the ground. McLean, and he fights his way into the end zone for a Texas touchdown. A three-yard touchdown run. And the Texans get a bit closer. And that rushing touchdown is fourth, puts him just one shy of the NFL record in a single game. And we all know he would love to get to that record and even beyond it, but he doesn't need to in order to impress in this one, does he? What a, what a performance. What an absolute great game that he's had here in this one. Now for the point after. And the lead is trimmed down to 10. So that drive in total eight plays. And it ends with a three-yard scoring run. Texans 35. So the lead back down to 10 as things get a little more interesting, and the kick is away. And he'll take it up past the 25 to the 26-yard line. At their own 26-yard line. The Dallas offense back out onto the field. This game was really a tussle, seemed like just a moment ago, and now they've got the momentum. A couple of scores on their last pair of drives and a two-score lead. I think here now you just you go conservative, right? Run the football, work the clock. You know, I usually agree with you, but I'm going after him right here. I really? want to put this bad boy away. I wouldn't be afraid to throw it. They've got all the confidence, all the momentum on their side. Go ahead and take your dagger shots and try and finish this one off. I disagree vehemently. I say, <laughs> run the football, you've got the lead. Well, let's watch it and find out who's right. That one goes for 24 yards. Well, how about this aggressive approach? Got the lead, fourth quarter, continuing to throw the football. Are you thinking about Super Bowl 51? <laughs> Atlanta had the lead against New England, and they ended up giving it up. I was going to say, don't say it, but you did say it. I did, didn't I? Yeah, anybody watching Atlanta, our apologies. <laughs> Prescott now from the 50. 
Over the middle, hauled in by Lamb. And he'll go down, but not before getting this inside the 30. 24 yards the game there, another first down as well. Now, and they completed a couple on this drive, but they killed off some pretty good chunks of yardage, too. Absolutely, great start. Two nice plays in the pass game. Now can they continue to feed off that? Back-to-back -back good plays have them on the move on first down. Now a handoff here to his running back. They get him to the ground right on the cusp of the red zone after a pickup of five or six. Six yards on that last play. Here's second and four. Brings up second and four. Prescott to throw it. And incomplete. Now they face a third down and four after that incompletion on second down. Brings up third down and there's Prescott. And he comes back with one complete. And the Cowboys are going to have first and goal as they try to finish off this drive with six points. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. When you have someone throwing it that well, that confidently, you don't have to call the game in fear at all, do you? You just go ahead and play. Yep, confidence with a lead to throw it here in the fourth, and boom, he's on the money. Yeah, you don't have to tuck your head in and take and go like turtle at this point. You just go ahead and play. A good chance now to put this game on ice. This is first and goal. They'll try and run for it on first and goal. And yeah, the Cowboys are going to have a first and goal forthcoming as he takes this down to about the five-yard line. And the ball smack dab on the five-yard line. Here's second and goal. Able to stay in bounds, and the clock keeps rolling. This defense right now. And he will take it in for a Cowboy score. Oh a great effort there with his third touchdown of the Super Bowl. And the Cowboys will extend their lead. He keeps carrying the ball into the end zone, and in this one, he's sort of carrying the team on his back. He's the reason that they lead right now, no question about it. And you talk about on his back, he's not minding the extra weight at all, is he? Carrying that just as lightly as he has the football. Yeah, what a great performance so far. Those three touchdowns, it's got him in the lead. An extra point forthcoming. And that'll make this a three-score game as the lead moves to 17. So that drives seven plays in length. And it's finished off with a five-yard touchdown run. the kickoff unit as they run up and send this one away. Takes it at the 7. The lane opens here. He's past the 30. The Texans take over first and 10 at their own 32-yard line. A look at the running back, the man out of the backfield as he gears up to go again. I guess it kind of goes without saying at this point, but he's had a great game, as we like to say, a nose for the end zone, no doubt. Continues to find it throughout this game, and I'm sure he's got a nice place to live. He might want to make an offer on the end zone for a second home, <laughs> because that's what it's been like throughout this contest. He knows how to get there, and boy, he looks happy when he does. He's already bought all the property in the end zone. That's the problem. He's going to sell to himself now. 17 yards on the play as they try to eat into this 17-point deficit. And this is why trying to cover the angle route is so difficult. Anyone playing the linebacker position, when they see a running back out of the backfield widen because he heads towards the flat first, oftentimes you widen too much and overcommit. He cuts up inside, and that's what we saw there. A nice pickup for a first down. So one play, and they're already just shy of midfield. From the gun, Jackson. Eluding the pressure right. He'll try and run it. Turns out to be a great idea to tuck that one. Good for 24 yards. Gardner, he was going through his progressions. Not there, not there. After about the third one, he decided he better pull it down and run for it. And he slides down and avoids the hit for good measure. Back-to-back -back good plays have him on the move on first down. 
Jackson from the shotgun. And that'll be incomplete. Jackson's pass. So now they'll come up on second and 10, once again from the 28. It leads to second and 10. Throwing again, Jackson. And he's got his favorite target yet again. It's complete. Two minutes left to play in this football game here on EA Sports. A second down completion got him seven. Now here's third and three. Operating from the gun. Jackson looking for the end zone. And got his man. It's caught. Touchdown, Houston. From 21 yards away. And the Texans cut into that lead. And that touchdown puts us in a position to have a discussion, doesn't it? Now, it'll be a two-score game after the conversion. Yeah, I mean, there's no doubt with a two-score game, they're going to have to onside kick it. We'll just see if they've got a miracle up their sleeve. And you wonder what onside kicks they're going to use and in what sequence if they hope to have a chance to win this game. And there's going to be a stoppage here. The Booth wants to take another look at this potential touchdown. took them an extra look, but they found out it is a touchdown indeed. The official says this one counts. Extra point right down the middle, and the lead is trimmed down to 10. Two scores down, three timeouts left. Still a chance if they can somehow get this one back. And the Cowboys are able to recover. And they knew they needed a miracle. They had to have that onside kick. They didn't get it. Well, as we knew, even before they put the, the toe to the leather on that one, their chances of getting that done, slim and none. And I do believe we saw Slim just leave the door, didn't we? We did indeed. I think we're down to none. So out come the Cowboys now as their offense gets set to take over. And a few kneel downs should just about do it. Now defensively, they do have all three timeouts, but very little reason to use them at this point. They'll run on first down. It's Carr. And he goes down, but not before getting this inside the 25. Now the Texans will burn the first of their timeouts as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. Running game working, they'll stick with it on first down. Now the Texans will use one of their two remaining timeouts as they'll talk things over prior to this upcoming second down play. They'll try and run some clock here as they keep it on the ground. And they'll get him down right around the 16. The Texans gonna signal for their third and final timeout as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. On third down, it's Carr, and he takes it down to the 13 and picks up the first. Three yards there, good enough to keep the drive moving. Someone's been having a good game so far, and you know something? Lob has been power running. They decided to turn him loose again on third down, didn't they? They did indeed. He delivered the tough yards. Totally home free yet, but it's looking good as they come up first and ten. And they'll take a knee as the clock runs under a minute to play. this one final knee to put a bow on this title bout.
and the Dallas Cowboys will hoist the Lombardi Trophy. They are the kings of the NFL. And their remarkable season ends in the most remarkable of ways. They get to put next to their name, Super Bowl champion. And they can't ever take that away, can they? Nope. That lasts forever. So good to see the emotion when it's all said and done. You see the hugs. You see the guys sharing the collective happiness. Makes me want to carry you around a little <laughs> bit on my shoulders to celebrate the triumph. And congratulations to them. A fantastic season. year just how everybody wants to end the year holding the Lombardi trophy what a season for them what a ride it's been for us as well here in the booth for Charles Davis and our entire crew I'm Brandon Gunn thanks for watching everybody we will see you next season right here on EA Sports